Pyroelectricity is the ability of certain materials to generate a temporary voltage when they are heated or cooled. The change in temperature modifies the positions of the atoms slightly within the crystal structure, such that the polarization of the material changes. This polarization change gives rise to a voltage across the crystal. If the temperature stays constant at its new value, the pyroelectric voltage gradually disappears due to leakage current. Pyroelectricity should not be confused with thermoelectricity. In a typical demonstration of pyroelectricity, the whole crystal is changed from one temperature to another, and the result is a temporary voltage across the crystal. In a typical demonstration of thermoelectricity, one part of the device is kept at one temperature and the other part at a different temperature, and the result is a permanent voltage across the device as long as there is a temperature difference. Explanation Pyroelectricity can be visualized as one side of a triangle, where each corner represents energy states in the crystal, kinetic, electrical and thermal energy. The side between electrical and thermal corners represents the pyroelectric effect and produces no kinetic energy. The side between kinetic and electrical corners represents the piezoelectric effect and produces no heat. Although artificial pyroelectric materials have been engineered, the effect was first discovered in minerals such as tourmaline. The pyroelectric effect is also present in both bone and tendon. Pyroelectric charge in minerals develops on the opposite faces of asymmetric crystals. The direction in which the propagation of the charge tends toward is usually constant throughout a pyroelectric material, but in some materials this direction can be changed by a nearby electric field. These materials are said to exhibit ferroelectricity. All pyroelectric materials are also piezoelectric, the two properties being closely related. However, note that some piezoelectric materials have a crystal symmetry that does not allow pyroelectricity. Very small changes in temperature can produce an electric potential due to a material's pyroelectricity. Passive infrared sensors are often designed around pyroelectric materials as the heat of a human or animal from several feet away is enough to generate a difference in charge. History The first reference to the pyroelectric effect is in writings by Theophrastus in 314 BC, who noted that Lingurian could attract sawdust or bits of straw. Tourmalin's properties were rediscovered in 1707 by Johann Georg Schmidt, who noted that the stone attracted only hot ashes, not cold ones. In 1717 Louis Lemery noticed, as Schmidt had, that small scraps of non-conducting material were first attracted to tourmalin, but then repelled by it once they contacted the stone. In 1747 Linnaeus first related the phenomenon to electricity, although this was not proven until 1756 by Franz Silrich Theodor Appenus. Research in pyroelectricity became more sophisticated in the 19th century. In 1824 Sir David Brewster gave the effect the name it has today. Both William Thompson in 1878 and Wilde Mervoid in 1897 helped develop a theory for the processes behind pyroelectricity. Pierre Curie and his brother, Jack Curie, studied pyroelectricity in the 1880s, leading to their discovery of some of the mechanisms behind piezoelectricity. The pyroelectric crystal classes and piezoelectricity all crystal structures can be divided into 32 crystal classes, according to the number of rotational axes and reflection planes they exhibit that leave the crystal structure unchanged. Of the 32 crystal classes, 21 are non-centrosymmetric. Of these 21, 20 exhibit direct piezoelectricity, the remaining one being the cubic class 432. Ten of these 20 piezoelectric classes are polar, that is, they possess a spontaneous polarization, having a dipole in their unit cell, and exhibit pyroelectricity. If this dipole can be reversed by the application of an electric field, the material is said to be ferroelectric. Any dielectric material develops a dielectric polarization when an electric field is applied, but a substance which has such a natural charge separation even in the absence of a field is called a polar material. Whether or not a material is polar is determined solely by its crystal structure. Only 10 of the 32 point groups are polar. All polar crystals are pyroelectric, so the 10 polar crystal classes are sometimes referred to as the pyroelectric classes. 
piezoelectric crystal classes, 1, 2, m, 222, m2, 4, minus 4, 422, 4 mm, minus 42 m, 3, 32, 3 m, 6, minus 6, 622, 6 mm, minus 62 m, 23, minus 43 m, pyroelectric, 1, 2, m, m2, 3, 3 m, 4, 4 mm, 6, 6 mm, the property of pyroelectricity is the measure change in net polarization proportional to a change in temperature. The total pyroelectric coefficient measured at constant stress is the sum of the pyroelectric coefficients at constant strain and the piezoelectric contribution from thermal expansion. Under normal circumstances, even polar materials do not display a net dipole moment. As a consequence there are no electric dipole equivalents of bar magnets because the intrinsic dipole moment is neutralized by free electric charge that builds up on the surface by internal conduction or from the ambient atmosphere. Polar crystals only reveal their nature when perturbed in some fashion that momentarily upsets the balance with the compensating surface charge. Recent developments, progress has been made in creating artificial pyroelectric materials, usually in the form of a thin film, out of gallium nitride, cesium nitrate, polyvinyl fluorides, derivatives of phenylpyridine, and cobalt phtalocyanine. Lithium tantalate is a crystal exhibiting both piezoelectric and pyroelectric properties, which has been used to create small-scale nuclear fusion. Mathematical description the pyroelectric coefficient may be described as the change in the spontaneous polarization vector with temperature. Where π is the vector for the pyroelectric coefficient. Power generation, a pyroelectric can be repeatedly heated and cooled to generate usable electrical power. One group calculated that a pyroelectric in an Ericsson cycle could reach 50% of Carnot efficiency while a different study found a material that could in theory reach 84-92% of Carnot efficiency. Possible advantages of pyroelectric generators for generating electricity include potentially lower operating temperatures, less bulky equipment, and fewer moving parts. Although a few patents have been filed for such a device, it does not appear to be anywhere close to commercialization yet. See also, pyroelectric crystal. Pyroelectric fusion, the opposite effect is called electrocaloric effect, thermoelectricity, Kelvin probe force microscope. References Gorchi, Gustav, 2002, Piezoelectric Sensorics, Springer, ISBN 3-540-42259-5. External links, Substantial Explanations of Pyroelectric Detector Operation, Pyroelectric Infrared Detectors DIAS Infrared, Do It Poem is teaching and learning package pyroelectric materials.